hey guys welcome back so i wanted to do something different for you guys so you can see a little bit of my pets and get to know them slowly and individually and all that stuff so the first ones i mean you've already seen my dogs and my cats but my other type of pets that you haven't really seen is my hermit crabs like at all i have four hermit crabs i got them at a local museum store in town and um yeah, they're all very, very interesting. Like, I had two, three other ones, but they did not make it. Like, I don't know why. They just passed away, like, at different time periods. So now I have four left, and I'm just sticking with these guys for now. And I'll get more eventually once I fix their tank more. Because right now, the sand that I have, I do not like it. I think I bought the wrong type. Because it's really dry. I don't know why, but it's dry. And it's not good. And then I need to buy some more new, like, kind of dirt-ish bedding I like dirt-ish but where they can borrow themselves in because I guess they like some stuff they shed or something I'm not sure exactly what it was but um they like to borrow themselves in the sand like you know they just love to be deep inside so this is one of my hermit crabs by the way guys I think he's trying to come out I just want to make sure he does not pinch me because he is a little freaky looking look at those cute little eyes kind of reminds me of like I don't know what praying mantis or whatever cute they have a huge claw though guys so that's the not so cute part they're kind of like um fiddler crabs in a way i had a fiddler crab once it fell down the sink yeah it was horrible i was cleaning the thing the tank out and then i had him in a like holding container and while i was trying to transform it into there he fell into the sink and then fell into the hole and then was gone it was sad she actually technically because she did not have a huge claw but it was sad my brother actually held that. I would never hold a fiddler cub. A cub? Crap. This guy's slowly coming out. Well, actually, he touched me. It would freak me out. There's another from my crab that's coming out. Y'all want to see this guy? This is my other one. Ooh, creepy. Why must they do that? Literally looks like he's going to fall out of his shell any second. Can I see that? I know hermit crabs are not the pet for everybody because not everybody's gonna want to hold one and see. And this is another one, guys. My third hermit crab, they have it's in the same shell as the one that I just showed you. I bought these shells also at a local local stores pretty much in town. There's lots of them, there's smaller ones that I have that have big ones, but they prefer the bigger ones because they do like to change shells. This one. I don't know why it's in a small shell. Maybe he likes this one. But this is my fourth hermit crab and my last hermit crab. Yeah, it's a bit creepy. If I can show y'all how it looks. You can hear my dog scratching his booty in the back. I'm sorry. It's gross, but here it is. If I can... Try to get the focus on him. Hold on, let me tell my dog to stop that. Stop it, Junior, please. Okay. But yeah, definitely like all four of them. I don't like to hold them because I got pinched by one. And it isn't fun, guys. They don't let go at all. You have to technically yank them off. And I was just like, ah, ouch. Not fun. Like, this guy's claws are just... Look at this. He's just massive. So their care for them is really easy, really simple. You have to have half uh, half the cage being um, dirt and half of it sand or whatever. Because they do like to borrow themselves in deep and all that stuff, which they like to do. And um, if you, you also have to have separate water things, like half, like one bowl of like water and then the other of um salt i only have the water right now because i haven't had a chance to buy the salt but you need both separately for them to go into and um what else is there oops i want to show you guys him without i don't want to drop him though okay Ooh, creepy when they touch you see but yeah very easy to care for very easy animals they're kind of like fish so they can be boring because they're mostly hiding in the capes and they're not out really if they're out it's usually late at night once 
but like in a blue moon you sometimes get a chance to see them so yeah they're very easy to care for very easy pets i do not really recommend them for children i mean only if they don't hold them because they will pinch and they do pinch and like i said it's not fun being pinched by hermit crabs but they're very easy to have very low maintenance very simple and they just eat the type of food that comes with it which sorry my phone's about to die i have this one right here this is what i have let's see they're all awake you should see this look at he's like what is that but yeah it's pretty easy to take care of them i just want to show you guys them and so you can see what kind of animals i have i will do a video of all my animals in one video including my chickens and my fish and all of that so you guys can see them a little bit better and all that but anyways i'm going to show you some short clips of them by themselves walking around so you can see because it looks like they're having a race right now so i hope you enjoyed watching them i'll put some short clips for you guys to watch right now so here he is out of the shell i'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl actually i haven't checked but he is wanting to eat him stop So here they are, and my cats come to watch them. I don't know if he knows what's going on here yet. Oh, he knows. He's like, what the heck is that? I just hope he doesn't go close to it unless he wants to get pinched. Ostrich. Donut. My cat always has to put his face everywhere. Especially where it doesn't belong. You're going to get pinched. Keep that up, you'll get pinched. Why is it that every time I try to record them, they go the opposite way of the camera? Like this guy. I want him to go towards the camera. So you guys can see them. So this is their habitat, there goes that one, there's one on a log or whatever that is, and then there's the green one right there, and the green shell. So this is it, you're supposed to have a salt water, I do not have a salt water one because I'm going to go buy one from Petco, so I haven't had the chance, but hopefully soon. And yeah, this is their habitat, they've got two hiding places, some leaves, and then down here is their water dish and their food dish. So. And all those extra shells if they want to switch and find another one. 
I just put in these three and I had those other ones out. So hopefully one of them will switch into another if they want to. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video of my hermit crabs.